Good morning, this is Garrett with Around Town Junk Removal from Anthem, Arizona. Just heading out to some junk on a Saturday morning. We got an overcast cloudy day, so that's kind of nice for working weather. Our first pickup is for a local customer. It's a new customer I haven't worked with before in the country club doing a side yard cleanup. So I'll show that. And then we have a waterbed frame removal. That should be kind of interesting. I've never removed a waterbed before. Uh, it doesn't actually have the waterbed on it. It just has a regular mattress. So that should make it easier. But yeah, it's just always something to learn. Um, every now and then you find something unusual that you haven't seen before, right? And then later on today, we have a house clean out with a ton of furniture. So um, those are the only three jobs we have booked right now going into the day, but I'm sure we'll have more show up. Typically Saturdays are the busiest days, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a couple, three, four more other calls. Down through that dirty window is Daisy Mountain. It was all the way up over there. But if you look carefully, you can actually see an American flag on top of it. There's a couple of those across the mountain. People have set up with lights on them that show them during the night too. It's pretty cool. All these boxes go. I think most of them are empty. They've been rained on. This stuff goes. These cat pack parts of a couch and some branches. Get it cleaned up. Just got it all loaded up. It's probably about a quarter trailer. Maybe a Maybe a little over that. Yeah, about a, about a quarter. Just finishing up my job. I wanted to point something out. If you're parking on a hill, I mean, this thing's 13,000 pounds empty. That's a lot of weight pushing on your e-brakes and your transmission. So, it's a good idea to use something like this. Chalk your tires, block your tires, do something. Help prevent it from rolling. Protein waffles. <laughs> Getting ready for the day, huh, Mrs. Muscle? Okay. Feeling strong? Ready to go remove a waterbed, frame, and mattress from upstairs? <laughs> mm. All right, so this is a beautiful bed frame, and uh, I'm going to try to donate it. The mattress, she said, is in really good condition as well. So this is upstairs in the home in kind of North Scottsdale area, close to the Mayo Clinic. But uh, yeah, we're going to haul it out one piece at a time. Mrs. Muscle's going to haul it out one piece at a time. All right, Megan's checking her hair while we're working. <laughs> so we got the mattress downstairs. It's a little side piece for the bed frame. I'm going to pull this out. Oh, let's fold that up. So we're gonna take a few screws out, pull this apart, haul it out. Okay, so these boards built up a grid frame that just um, kind of sat into sl slits and then the corners were bolted. And then on top of that was this plywood. And now we're gonna remove the bed frame. All right, who's loading this up? Cooper's gonna do it? I don't know, he looks pretty sleepy. Gotta wake him up. Take a nap. <laughs> this is a really nice bed frame and the mattress seems pretty new too. And you think about somebody had to turn this on a lathe. Unfortunately, Goodwill and some of their charities might accept them, but won't necessarily put them out for donation or reselling themselves. Um, and it, it'd be nice to see this go to an actual home. Hey Megan, what'd you find in the trailer? Somebody threw their dog poop in the trailer. A pedestrian walking past. Oh man. <laughs> what do you think about that? Party foul. Party foul. <laughs> well, let's load it up. Got our jack with us, our new container ultra seal. So I'm gonna load up these uh, front tires on the trailer. Get those puncture proof and uh, save us some time. How did that go, Mrs. Muscle? Where's the container of ultra seal? It's in the truck. So we'll go to a gas station that has a air that? compressor and pump it up. Yes. That's a muffler from a job earlier. I didn't want to just throw it away. Cool. We'll recycle it. Let's see what Garrett is doing over here. He's buying air. 
I put some quarters in just to make sure the darn machine works. Did it work? It works. <laughs> so this is a valve stem core removal tool. It allows you to take the core out of a tire's valve stem. In order to put the ultrasail into the tire, you have to let the air pressure go down. So right now it's at 80. I need to get it down below 30. Then I can pump in the right amount of ounces according to the specification chart for this size of tire from Ultra Seal. They have a chart on their website. You can talk to their engineers uh, to make sure you put the right amount in for a fast moving tire at a highway speed. So that'll be the next step. Each pump is one ounce. How many pumps? Depends on your tire size. What about for your tire size? 24. <laughs> kind of sit back. <laughs> your tire looks flat. It is, it's not happy. Use. used to be green now it's blue it's the extreme grade of ultra seal it can uh, supposedly seal up a tire puncture up to one half inch in diameter so read the the website but this does not avoid tire warranties it's used by a lot of commercial agencies uh, the military uses it to seal up bullet holes in tires I mean it's a it's a pretty cool product that we learned about through someone named Gary Noland uh, from Easy Go Junk Removal in Tucson. Gary and Joe have been uh, really helpful for us learning a lot. So yeah, great people. Check out their YouTube channel too, by the way. A quick note of envy about that lift gate he just got set up. That's super <laughs> cool on his new truck. But anyways, this, this product has been really helpful for us. Saved us many, many hours sitting at the tire store fixing uh, punctures to our tires because we run this in it, pull the nail out, and it seals up the tire. Kind of like when you take rubber cement out of a jar, put it on something, it dries. But when it's in the jar, it's liquid. Same thing with this. Next stop is the Salvation Army drop-off on Greenway. We're gonna donate this bed frame. Called them ahead, they said they would accept it. It doesn't say they don't take bed frames. So, we're kinda used to Goodwill not accepting bed frames. And so we even tell the customers that, that Goodwill doesn't accept them. Or if they do, they just end up throwing them away, usually. So we, we're, we're just used to not donating them typically, right? Well, we were in next to Salvation Army down here on Greenway in Phoenix, North Phoenix. We said, well, let's see if they accept it. Called ahead, spoke with the manager. She said, yes. Yeah. So we drove, it was about 15 minutes to get here. And the, the guy in the donation lines pushed him back hard. No, no, we can't take no bed frames. It gets a bit salty with us. And so we looked at his list of unaccepted items he's shown us no mattresses no water beds no blah 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 no hospital beds doesn't say no bed frames and so the manager came out and they do accept them so if you have a bed frame and you're in north phoenix consider taking it to the salvation army they will be happy to accept your bed frames well we're up in new river now like we expected and we mentioned earlier we started the day with three jobs, now we have a total of five. So a couple extra jobs popped up from a repeat customer and from a new customer. So going to pick up about a dozen garbage bags from a repeat customer, and then we're gonna head down to Desert Hills and pick up a goat house. 
Now, this is a little structure that looks like a miniature house made for goats. It was part of their little animal enclosure. And so we're gonna haul that away and head to the dump before going to get a load of furniture. I'd like to introduce you to the family. What are their names again? We have Mac and Cheese, Puffer, Reese's, Black Bean, Donut, Tater 2, Empanada, and Melissa. Wow. That's so we cool. just loaded up about a dozen bags of trash from that house. It's a friend of ours and he was showing us his chickens. And I told him we were going to pick up this goat enclosure as our next stop. He said, well, let me take a look at it. So he showed him some pictures and we're gonna uh, pick that up and deliver it to him so he can use it as his new chicken coop. So kind of changing around our schedule. We're gonna dump first, get that, bring it back over to his house, uh, make a little delivery, kind of fun. Hopefully you like seeing the chickens too. They were uh, all named pretty creatively. So we still got room in this load, but we're dumping it so we can go pick up that uh, goat house and deliver it to our buddy. Yeah, it sure is a snake. Good snake. Not every day you see that. See the tail? Yep. That's a friendly snake, huh? Watch out, buddy. Make try and get him muscle him. strikes again. It's uh, what was this called? A goat, goat shed, goat enclosure. We tried pulling it with the chains. It turned sideways though, and the roof barely catching these supports by like an inch or two and tried raising it up but turned sideways got it in good job Megan <laughs> well that goat shelter was a challenge it was extremely well built and much heavier than what it looked like and we had the hardest time tipping it up into the trailer so we tried getting the chain out and pulling it into the trailer over the top of the trailer with the truck moving forward you know, I detached the trailer, hook up a chain, run it to the truck. Well, that ended up snapping my hitch pin because the chain pulled on it. It's a 5 8 steel hitch pin, the chain snapped. That's the second one I broke because that's another story for another day, but back to the goat enclosure. So we ended up pushing it back out because we don't want to break anything else. I don't want to break the trailer. So it was too wide. So we pushed it out, pulled the roof off, turned it on its side, and pushed it back in. That's what Mrs. Muscle did. And uh, I just took notes watching. It was impressive to watch her work. She's really something, really something indeed. But we just delivered that to our buddy. He's gonna put a new roof on it and make it into a uh, chicken coop. So good riddance. We're glad to be done with it. All right, it's four o'clock on Saturday afternoon. We're heading to our last job. We got a 30 minute drive down in Peoria. It's actually a place called a Trilogy, which I think is like a fancy community within the Vistancia sort of area. But yeah, we got to drive. We'll get there about 4.30, load up all the furniture and head, head to donation, I guess. That's the plan. So we'll, we'll show you what goes on. It's a good thing I got some helpers today. Just getting set up here her job and Megan decided she likes this shrub it's got some flowers some green petals we're gonna find out what that is some you're gonna plant that in your yard this weekend <laughs> we'll find one if anyone knows what that is leave it in the comments I remove some furniture from the back patio so this sofa this sofa and this chair We'll just carry. Well, what do we got in here? So we got the two nice Ralph Lauren chairs, and uh, those have been soiled by a kitty. Otherwise, we donate them. And then we had the two couches and the wicker chair from the back patio. And the roof from the goat 
That's right. Now, real important lesson here for everyone watching still. Don't step on nails. It's bad for your uh, health. So we just got the top part of the hutch in. And this was the main one I was just telling Megan that I was most concerned about from this job and really needing her muscles and help uh, to load it in. So we'll go get the bottom section out. We also got four chairs, a table, and this other cabinet. So Megan's been earning her pay today. You've been earning your pay. <laughs> well, Mrs. Muscle, I think we're going to call that a day. It's after five on Saturday evening. What do you say? We donate half this load and then go get some supper. Yeah, it's super nice. Someone's going to love it. It really is good furniture. Obviously, some reupholstery, but beautiful. yeah, beautiful furniture. And a beautiful customer. Yes. She was the sweetest. <laughs> for coming along with us on a Saturday. We had uh, three jobs originally scheduled, and we ended up with five. And we also got to deliver a goat house for a friend to become his new chicken coop. So that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, seeing the chickens. Yep. Which name stood out to you? Melissa. I always <laughs> like people names for animals. I think it's funny. And he's got a dog that's named Dave. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> they just like those names. It's cool. Well, y'all take care. We hope you enjoyed watching today. Bye.